And now we turn back to our reporting on rail safety and a man who secretly recorded calls with his boss at Minnesota's largest railroad. Those calls are proving crucial in a court verdict against Burlington Northern Santa Fe that could cost the railroad millions. Five investigates spent the last year reporting on safety issues on our railroads during a series of derailments here and around the country. Tonight, investigative reporter Ryan Ray sits down with that former track inspector for the first time whose recordings expose new concerns at a time people are taking notice. Thanks. <laughs> Despite how it all ended, Don Sanders misses his time on the railroad. I actually made a difference in the job that I was in. Sanders spent nearly a decade with Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Most of those years carrying these bags as a track inspector. I haven't seen all this in a long time. While stressful and challenging, Sanders loved it until he says he watched the railroad cut too many corners. I get criticized for everything I do out here. Why did you decide to start recording conversations with your supervisor? For, for my own protection. Those conversations uncovered by five investigates as we reviewed court cases involving BNSF. Why in the world would we ever call FRA about anything? Unless I'm absolutely blatantly telling you to break rules or don't do something. In this call, Sanders' boss found out he called the Federal Railroad Administration. They know the rule book better than anybody. Keith, have I ever called the FRA on you because you told me not to follow rules like you do all the time? No. Is that against the company rules? It's not good. I called him and asked him a question, Keith. I don't understand. I don't want you doing that. That is automatically suspicious. Our reporting now in front of a national audience after a series of recent derailments, including right here in Minnesota. If you work at a restaurant and your boss tells you that under no circumstances should you ever call the health inspector, best case scenario, he is being ratatouille. But that's the best case. It's being heard. What does that mean to you? It kind of opens up other people's eyes that might be in another job safety driven career as to be able to be able to stand up and do something right. BNSF previously told five investigates simply it does not retaliate against employees. But Sanders' collection of recordings helped convince a federal jury that BNSF did in fact fire him in retaliation after reporting a series of track defects. Is this like the measurements that are allowed uh, on a certain defect? Yeah. His case also raised new questions about how bonus pay for managers is tied directly to defects. The fewer, the better. So in order to keep you from getting fired, I need to just look the other way. No, we just need to have a conversation. The jury initially awarded Sanders $9 million, but federal limits knocked it down to more than $2 million. What was that like hearing that, that verdict from the jury? That was probably the best thing I've heard in a long time because that's pretty much what I wanted to clear my name. So uh, it was very relieving. Yeah, yeah, just... Sanders says the years long fight with the railroad took a toll on his mental and physical health and tore apart his family. Uh, Justin, Michaela, Courtney and McLean. It meant more to me to show my kids that I did something right because I was pretty depressed when I got fired. So yeah, it was great. Great, but Sanders has not seen a dime because the railroad is appealing his victory in court. You stood up to the railroad. Yeah. That's not easy to do. No. Most people are scared of the situation. Were as you? Far, as far as, yeah. I wrote, kept my notes. I wanted to make sure I was clean. So that's, it's, not, it's not easy to be able to stand up for what's right. I mean, I was hired to do a job. I, I got disciplined for doing my job. BNSF is still fighting that jury verdict now at the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. The company touts a dramatic drop in defects in the Twin Cities, saying defect-related derailments are down 73 percent in the last seven years. But we have asked multiple times for an interview about rail safety and the Sanders claims, but BNSF would not agree to one. So late last year, we went down to a national conference in Atlanta, in part to ask our questions of BNSF's representative in attendance.
What's the public supposed to think when they hear these these tapes, these really this damning audio of a supervisor saying, I don't report a defect. It's going to affect my paycheck. We encourage all of our employees to report things that are happening on our railroad is their job as safety being the center of our culture and what we do. That's a portion of our conversation with Janelle Davis, an executive public affairs director at BNSF in Texas and Oklahoma. And we had a lot more questions and we'll have more of that coming up tomorrow at six o'clock. Ryan Race with more on rail safety. We'll see you then. Yep. Thank you, Ryan.